stout season in the hood. So we having them brews in the hood. And not even close to the hood is Bloomington, Illinois. Got a brewery down there called uh, Lil Beaver. I'm review that beer before. They got some fantastic fucking cans, man. I like their cans a lot. So I tend to buy this stuff because the can art is fucking good. And it goes right into the collection. My beard just fell on the ground, so I'm probably going to talk a little bit longer. Because, uh, yeah, it's a dent in that can now. But, <sighs> they have a stout. We have a stout. And once again, the can art is fucking dope. And this one's called Man Beaver Wolf. So, I'm going to say that I'm not the biggest South Park fan in the world. So, I'm assuming, though, that this is a South Park reference. But this is a stout, Imperial Milk Stout with chocolate, vanilla, and milk sugar. Got that lactose bitch. And uh, it's a pretty dope fucking can. So here's the fucking, uh, I guess it's the Man Beaver Wolf right here. It says this search continues for Man Beaver Wolf. For trade, Little Beaver, Listerman, and Wolf Ridge. Or featuring, I don't know, FT. Last spot is social distancing in the cornfields of New York. I mean, ugh, New York? What the fuck made me say that? It says Illinois. The fuck made me say it? New York. I guess I was tripping off the fact that I seen that there's three different man beaver wolves. I'm like, damn, people like this name. And I'm guessing this is some type of collaboration. Or they make one, then they make one, then they make one. You know, Listerman is solid. Uh, Wolf Ridge I've never had before. But then you got the South Park looking guys, which is probably the Brewers. I'm going to assume that this is caricatures of these guys nice long red beard there don't like eric rowan rowan this guy got the bang on he he dripping this guy in the middle probably don't know what's going on but yeah they in the cornfields and shit uh it's pretty dope yeah it says right here in collaboration with listerman and wolf's ridge listerman i believe is out of like cleveland or cincinnati or some shit in ohio Wolf Ridge, I don't know nothing about them. But this is an Imperial Milk Stout, like I said, with a 11 point some shit percent. 11.5 percent. So that's going to be that's gonna be a pretty big beer. I'm going to set this back somewhere. So when I crack that, man, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. <sighs> that sucks. So on Untap, uh, it's currently sitting at a 4.12. Um... There's no IBU info on that joint. 214 total check-ins, 181 for the month, which means uh, this one's not getting checked into one on tap. Possibly, it just says here there's an Imperial Milk Stout with chocolate vanilla and milk sugar. So, I'm assuming that I could just drink this brew because I don't have no more info. Besides the fact that this is one of the dopest cans I've ever seen. I'm putting this in my, uh, in my uh, collection. I'm nervous about opening this. <sighs> Why'd I have to knock it over? Why'd it be such a fucking klutz? Well, here you go. Y'all want to see me get squirted in the face with some fucking beer? You can fucking look. I'm not pausing this. I'm ready, I'm ready to drink. Bitch. Open with no problem. Alright, here we go. I've been pouring my stouts a little like more aggressively lately. I like to watch I like to watch that shit happen. You know, I let the head get up in there. And then I let that bitch dissipate. Word of the day calendar. I use it too. Nah, I don't care. Whatever. So looks like a stout always does. And what surprises me is that like you can Every stout looks like this, even the bad ones. And if you take a picture of it and put it online, fucking nerds would be like, oh, that looks tasty. Motherfucker, every stout looks just like this. I don't understand it. Ooh, it's real chocolatey. Whole lot of chocolate. 
whole hot chocolate. Very faint on the vanilla tip. A little bit of coffee in that joint. Anyway, it smells like stout. Oh. Hmm. That was weird. Like, first it was like chocolate, then it was like psych vanilla motherfucker. But then and that's all happening on the fucking mouth feel. And then as it goes down, the chocolate comes back. That was a fucking Oreo. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Creamy on the uh, aftertaste. It's like chocolate vanilla chocolate. It bounces back and fucking forth. Uh, it's like a medium body. I like my stuff a little bit thicker, but this one is in no way bad uh, as far as the consistency of it and the uh, the thickness and the the mouthfeel. I think it's really fucking good. Yeah, not super pencil thin, like on the on the back end, kind of coats your mouth. Um, the chocolate on that last taste of chocolate does taste a little artificial uh, but all in all I enjoy it it's gonna be a good beer man I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna fucking enjoy this shit as I come on some Madden and uh, use my bears and just act like they you know playing better than they are so the beaver in collaboration with the saucer people no. In collaboration with Listerman and uh, Wolf Ridge, your man Beaver Wolf is fucking solid, bro. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5. I will enjoy this. I saw it on a, on a fucking on draft. I go crazy for it. I may buy one again because I'm kind of burnt out on the haze and I'm fucking with the stouts. So until next time, I'm out. And the bruise. I'm still in the hood, bro. Peace. Cheers.